In this video, we are going to understand one-dimensional motion. We will also discuss the terms used to describe the motion of an object in one dimension and its motion diagrams. The motion of an object is said to be in one dimension if it is moving along a straight line path. The motion of a car along a straight road is an example of one dimensional motion. The basic terms that are used to describe the motion of the car are displacement, velocity and acceleration. Now let's define these terms. Consider that the car starts moving from its initial position, xi, with an initial velocity, vi. After time interval, data t, the car covered some distance and ended up with its final position, xf, with a final velocity, vf. The displacement delta x of the car is simply the difference between the final and the initial positions of the car. That is, delta x equals xf minus xi. The velocity v of the car is the change in position, delta x of the car in the time interval, delta t. That is, v equals delta x divided by delta t, which is equal to xf minus xi divided by delta t. The acceleration a of the car is the change in velocity, delta v of the car in the time interval, delta t. That is, a is equal to delta v divided by delta t, which is equal to vf minus vi divided by delta t. Now, let's see how to obtain the information about the position, the velocity, and the acceleration of the car with the help of a motion diagram. A motion diagram is a pictorial representation of the car's motion at various equally spaced time intervals on the same diagram. When the car is moving with a constant velocity, it displaces an equal distance for each equally spaced time interval, and its motion diagram looks like this. The velocity of the car increases uniformly at each time interval when the car is moving with a constant acceleration, and its motion diagram looks like this. The velocity of the car decreases uniformly at each time interval when the car is decelerating at a constant rate. Its motion diagram looks like this. These are the basic motion diagrams to understand the motion of the car in one dimension. Make sure about the length of the vector in the motion diagrams is accurate, because the length of the displacement or the velocity vector in the motion diagram has its own significance and represents the magnitude of the displacement or the velocity. Consider a motion diagram for two cars, A and B, that are moving with a constant velocity, as shown below. To understand this motion diagram, which car is moving faster? In equally spaced time intervals in the motion diagram, the first moving car has a large magnitude of its displacement vector. So, from the given motion diagram, car A is moving faster than car B. With this, we hope you have gained an understanding of the motion in one dimension, basic terms such as displacement, velocity and acceleration to describe one dimensional motion, and the few basic one dimension motion diagrams. <laughs>